Have you been having issues on uh, putting your accessories onto your plate carrier? Because, you know, I don't, what the hell are these? Like, what do you do with these, right? All right, everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, I'm going to go over my, my uh, AR500 uh, malice clip, how to take it off and put it on. Um, if you know how to use the malice clips, they're not too bad. They're actually pretty good, actually, if you know how to put them on. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Uh, so let's, uh, first thing, let's uh, take a pull this out. Don't worry, it's not loaded. It's a Taurus gun. I only use it for laser dry firing. If you want to see what's, in, of course, if you want to see what's in there, it is a laser G sight, and just for training. Uh, if you don't know, I do laser dry fire training. Uh, you should check it out. It's a pretty fun video to watch, especially when ammo is pretty much sold out. <laughs> Everyone's panic buying ammo and. Uh, guns, you can't even get a gun. I like the Taurus G3 because you can just double strike and hit that striker at the back of that uh, that uh, cartridge and just get a laser, get a laser app like iTarget, laser hit, or even G Sight, and you can do some training at home. So let's put this away over here. Or yeah, let's just put that over here for now. Let's put it over there for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take this off because I'm probably not gonna go. I'm probably not gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do this. All right. And I'm not, I'm gonna be wearing it. Um, I probably will be wearing it as a weight trainer. Uh, so I'll probably do be doing something something else with this most likely. Oh, check it out. I got my I got my first uh, negative comment for the uh, two studio for this hardware. Look, it's scratching it up. And it's because of this uh, this buckle, this little middle piece right here. If you see that when it goes in. Good thing I put a torus in there. It scratches up on it. scratches up on it. See that? Mm. Anyways, good thing it's a Taurus. Good thing I put a Taurus in there. But something something to consider if you go this way. All right, so let's uh let me I'm going to take this off right here. I uh I unbuckled it. Uh, let's let's move the gun out of the way. Okay, I I uh I unbuckled it so this is just the front so we can uh, work on this a little bit easier. I'm going to do this first because it's uh, it's a lot easier to do. So just get a little, you know, just get a little flat head, put it in here, and uh, try to get under it, lift it up, and it should start to come out. Just start pulling on it. Yeah, there it is. It's popping out. There we go. There you go. One. You want to do them at the same time because I weaved them in. I weaved them in. I got a broken right hand, so it's a little difficult for me. So you, you raise the tab up. There we go. That one's coming out. There we go. And if you look at what I've done, okay. This goes over, but then this goes under, and you'll and you'll see that. So, in order for this to work, you have to kind of go over, under, over, under. There we go. Over. You'll see it right here. Over, under, over, under. While you're doing this, all right. See that? So, essentially, how how it works, all right, is you put this underneath, wrap it through, and what I did was um, originally, okay, you can see that. Originally, I put it up here, 
And then the last two I skip because what you want to do is if you, if you, if you go through all the way, mine was down here, if, and you notice that the malice clip was showing at the top. Uh, if you put it up here, more of the malice clip will show, and then um, if, you, if you run it all the way up through here, if you run it, if you run it all the way up to the top, okay, if you run it all the way up to the top, and you're up at the top, you'll see the malice clip showing. So you, ha you have to bring it down, and I can only bring it so far down, because what you want to do is the bottom of this is going to meet the bottom of this. So it only comes like this far. So go up one, go in two, and then come out. Same thing, you do the same thing. Go under, over, and the last two go under, because the last two is going to go over, and it's going to come over here. And this is what you get. You get like this. And once it clips in, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, while you're doing it, that's the other tricky part. While you're doing it, okay, while you're doing it, because if you do this, okay, if you do this, all right, and you, and you do that, this is what happens. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't do anything. So what you have to do is while you're going over and under, all right, while you're going over and under to have it lock into place, and if you, and you, if you see here, uh, I'm locking this area to this part right here and then this last one meets up with the bottom right here so while you're doing this you have to you have to do it while you're doing it so I want it to be right about here so while you're going over on this one you're going under on here just like you're stitching and you got to do them at the same time because if you don't <laughs> it doesn't work so you got to do them at the same time there we go there you go so so it ends up being something like you want to okay there you go you want to move it like this actually it's still moving on me uh which one am i going to do oh yeah Okay, and the last one, you're going under. So, under, under these two. The last one, you go under two. So you have to do you have to do them at the same time. It gets it gets it gets to be a pain in the neck. Let me see if I could change my view, so you can see it a little bit better. I don't know if you can see that. You see that a little bit better? So you do them at the same time, and they and they pop out. Right. There we go. So when you do that, you'll do that. You'll notice it doesn't slide. It doesn't. I, I guess I should just do, do it this way. It doesn't. It doesn't slide up and down. It'll go side to side a little bit, you know. But once you get this pouch, your magazine pouches on this side. You, you really can't move too much at all. You really can't move too much at all. It doesn't slide up and down. So uh, the way I did it, I wanted part of the malice clip to show up on top because I want this to be lower. I don't want. I really didn't want to see the the bottom part of the malice clip. So when you get to this point, it gets it gets a little tricky because you have to bend this plastic and clip it in there. Bend the cla plastic and try to clip it in there. And oh, okay. Okay, it went in, and same thing on this side. You have to bend that plastic and slide, get it in there, and you'll hear a click. There we go. Now it's in. Yeah, see? So that's basically how you do it. And again, I'm going to take it off. It's, it's a little pain to take it off as well, but... 
try to try to get something raise the tab up just pull it out it's already pulling out there we go that one's coming out there may be a chance you might break some of these but There we go. So that's how you do it. You see that? Try to raise it up here a little bit. So that's that's the way you do it. You weave it in there like that. Otherwise, it would just slide up and down and wouldn't do too much for you. And to, to take it out, you got to weave it out again. There you go and that's how the malice clips work all right that's how the malice clips work um, so if you but if you do it like this and you just put it in again I'll show you one more time uh, it doesn't matter if you could, you could do in and out in and out. you could weave it like this you know it doesn't really matter uh, if you do this it's just gonna slide up and down up and down see that yeah while you're doing this while you're weaving this part, you have to weave into here as well. That's what's going to keep them. Let me see. How do you want it? Like this. So that's how you. And you have to do them at the same time. Let's just do the. Let's just do a really simple one last one I'm just doing it really simple just to just to show and then once you get out here so the way I did it on this one uh, it's set high and you can see the malice clips on the bottom so I, I didn't want to do that I, I set mine a little bit lower so you could set it down up just a little bit but that's how you do it Take this out before I end the video. There we go. So I'm going to take this off uh, because mainly I'm going to. Um, I, I first of all I want to know if I could do it, get it all loaded out like they have it on their website, and yes I can, and you could do it right because it doesn't move. Otherwise it would slide up and down. But um, I want to just take this off for now because I do plan on wearing it and just going out and exercising, adding a little bit more to body weight, trying to build up my strength. Because the other thing you can use this body armor for is weight training. Okay, I, You won't believe it, but people pay a couple hundred dollars for a weighted vest so they can exercise. Well, I, I obviously paid more than a couple hundred dollars, but it's a, it's a body armor. It's a bulletproof, not bulletproof, but it's bullet resistant body armor uh steel plate uh level three plus so anyways this is going to conclude my episode i'm going to take all this off so i won't bore you too much but if you wanted to know how to use these malice clips and how to position it you know up or down especially a smaller one like this this one you, is, you won't have any problems it's it's probably going to take up um it's going to take up all of it matter of fact i'll you know what? Let me show you. Let me show you this one. I'll show you this one right here. So, so with this one, it's it's pretty even. It goes in, up, in, out, in, out, and it's pretty even because this one has like uh, uh, compared to compared to this, where it only has one, two, three, four loops. This one will have like five or six. So uh, I guess I can show you quickly if my hand doesn't hurt too much.
There we go. Let's take that one out. Take both of them out since it would be a lot easier. But you got to take both of them out. There we go. It's going. There we go. And so this one was the same way. Uh, I skipped the last two to have a clip in there. But you kind of see where, where they're... Where they're going with it where i was going with it anyway there's one over here as well and you have to weave it in while you're putting it on that's what makes it really difficult sometimes or hard to understand there we go there like that otherwise it would just ride up and down so there you go that's how you use the mouse clips and the uh, the uh, molly system here anyways hopefully you like this video please give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up uh, like like share comment let me know what your experience uh, have have you been having issues on uh, putting your accessories onto your plate carrier because you know I don't what the hell are these like what do you do with these <laughs>